morning everybody, it's Chris here from Screen Education with the 4 Majors Analysis Update for the 8th of March 2011. I'm going to be going with 4 Majors. I'm going to be starting with the Euro against the US dollar this morning. Let's have a look at the daily time frame. Very strange one yesterday. I think a number of our students, including myself, were able to pick up a number, uh, just a small amount of pits yesterday on the initial move to the upside um, and then for the price just to deviate and fall back to a previous support area. Resistance close here, then we had a bit of support in the spinning top and price action yesterday just closed right on that support level around about the 13.97 mark. Asian market, market this morning has been very um, flat, not a lot of deviation. If I just zoom out you can see price action is, trend direction is up and if you look at it where from here to there you can see it's quite extended so it's great that CTC is all in our favor if I just pan out you'll notice now that we're testing prior resistance levels in the past back in uh, mid-October of last year and then once in early November so what do we need to see a bounce on here would be great pull back uh, correction and uh, continuation to the upside would be fantastic. So what do we need to see? Well, obviously a break and close higher than the Asian market high this morning would be uh, a good indication of further upside movement because the momentum is starting to, to push it up. Let's have a look intraday. You can see on our small time frames, our hourly and stuff like that. For example, yesterday we had a break higher than a resistance level. A fair push to the upside, which closed higher than uh, the previous day, the Friday's high. Huh? And then a lot of people got in on a early candle and then looked for their 20 pips, which was achievable. And then it just pits it out, faded out. I think news came through from ECB. Tricker was speaking yesterday, mid, mid day, I think it was, and there were a lot of concerns, not locally, uh, in terms of the overall market out here, but I think the, the the issues stemming back to Libya, etc., were on everybody's mind yesterday, and we had a slight retracement occur. That retracement is now taking it back to 39,500 mark, fairly to break above that. So we've got a nice strong support here at 13,9550, and the uptrend here you can see there's a bit of a spark down, but you can see that we had sw higher swings. To the upside up until this point this consolidation area and then going into Asian market trading we've had lower swings so ultimately what we're looking at now is that so we're having a bit of a squeeze now <coughs> and what we're doing is we're still trading above the 39.55 mark so this is going to be our support area for today break below that we'll need a definite confirmation that we're seeing we're going to see further lows and we should look for entry levels to the downside Okay, so initial target if it broke below the 39.55 mark would be down here at roughly around 13.80.75. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a cough this morning, irritating cough nonetheless. Um, yeah, so heading into the European session this morning, we've got a bit of a swing. For this to remain bullish, we obviously need to close up above this high here at 39.88, and then we could look at the possibility of these highs you had 14.03 that we saw yesterday being uh, re retested. Otherwise, we could see a close below 13.9955, sorry, 13.9055, and we could see downside movement today. That's it on the euro. I'll be back next with sterling against US dollar. Okay, the next one we're looking at is sterling against US dollar. I'm going to zoom out on the daily, see what happened. A lot of action yesterday. I was able to capitalize on intraday trade to the upside, got my 20 pips, and I was hitting around 32 pips, and then all of a sudden, bang, price reverted to the downside again. I think this is back to tricker speaking, underlying issues, um, sentiment, not happy with things <coughs> locally, but also internationally, and I think reality hit home that they got Europe's got some serious uh, issues to deal with primarily with what's happening in Libya, cost of fuel, uh, products, commodities, etc. all going <coughs> excuse me, up. And um, yeah, we had it all revert back down to the downside yesterday. 
and what it's done now is it's brought us clearly to uh, the 20 pair moving average which have, happens to have saved this pair on a numerous occasions as a support level as you can see here saved 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 beautiful juicy hammer here um, is it going to do it again good question uh, the momentum you can see the highs aren't as strong as they were when they initially started so you can see that momentum is uh, dwindling but you know in some sort of holding pattern to the upside market sentiment you can see how the squeeze is taking place on this now it's running out of steam uh, that steam has seen the price revert back lower than um, than a November high so these candles over here if you put them all together would show you a shooting star something similar to this now a lot of indecision and the wicks would close over here if you looked at a say a five day candle or something so indecision exhaustion coming in a break below the 20 period moving average would definitely clearly uh, confirm that and then we would look at areas such as the prior bounce here well, we had this juicy hammer at 16, just above the 16 and 12 mark as a first target, second target, roughly the 1600 mark. A lot of resistance and support in the past. See that happening here. And then failure to, to stay above 1600. Well, that would definitely signal um, long term short, that's for sure. Um, down at 158500 and lower. So let's just worry about today. Consolidation on the Asian market going into the European session. Let's have a look in today. Still very bullish on CTC daily. Uh, CTC 4 hour and hourly. <coughs> Excuse me. Very mixed. You can see how uh, attempts of the high again. And we saw yesterday. We tried um, yesterday and failed. See that? Nice juicy up candle. The break of. A prior consolidation see that swing low swing low swing low and then break out close higher then this area here would have been able to give people the opportunity of taking some pips to the upside to at least a prior high that we saw here on the 16 uh, or what date was that the 2nd of Feb sorry March apologies and then um, just took it all away from here and plus some so Trading lower than both the intermediate trading uh, trend lines or moving averages, the 20 and 50, the bullish sign. It's pulling back now. Here's this pullback going to be a consolidation, uh, say to run a 50% retracement or 23 or 38 is a is a very strong one these days, and then a continuation to the downside. That could be on the table. CTC is in our favour now on a bigger time frame, i.e. the four hour. <coughs> Excuse me. Hourly trading below all the moving averages. The same goes for all our small engine, 30 minutes, 50 minutes, etc. Consolidating, you can see on a 5 minute and a 15 minute. So an all time low here at 16,185. That's got a, and a high going into the Asian market trading of just above, just below the 16,2110 mark. So what I do is, yep, I box it. Give it a nice big box. And then it allows me to judge clear breakouts because <coughs> we could see another one this morning. Squeeze pattern, breakouts, great to trade, great to pick up your 20 pips very quickly. Um, at this level here on a 50 minute, you can see it's just going sideways. Uh, moving averages, the, the smaller time frame moving averages are in play. So, market sentiment dictates that we are negative on a small inch time frame. You can see the CTC is pretty much red. The same goes for a 30 minutes. It's holding pattern, red. Okay, we've got a high point and a low point. See that clearly on a 30 minute chart. We need either a break to the upside, close comfortably above 16.2110 to see further upside movements. Be aware that there is the strong support area around the 16.240 mark. So there are pips to be made between close higher here and then the next level to the to the resistance level or close lower than 16185 would see further progression to the downside and then you can see uh, opportunities at that moving average wise on a daily that would be it's in close proximity it's not all that far away we're looking at 1617 so a lot of moving to the next support level i.e. the 20 period which has acted as a support level in the past so 
be aware of that guys for the cable you'll know in a five minute we're now testing the 200 period moving average on this time frame failure to break that would confirm a definite resistance level and we could see definite push to the downside from it okay so place your <coughs> your alerts and wait patiently that's it for sterling i'm going to be back with the us dollar against Swiss franc okay the next one we're looking at is the us dollar against Swiss franc let's have a look at the daily time frame this pair is just stalled after breaking a noticeable low at 0.935 had a couple of attempts to the upside I'm trying to reclaw back some of these gains but has failed on consecutive occasions to close higher than the 0.935 mark and we've seen well, fall back reattempt fall back and we're reattempting this morning as we speak CTC is very negative primarily because we're trading in a very negative trend and we're trading an all-time low for this pair. The US dollar has really lost some ground to the Swiss franc over the, the past year or so. And if you look at our intraday, you can see that this morning we've had a bit of a spark up for the US dollar against this uh, against compatriot, the, US, uh, the Swiss franc. And it's testing the highs on an hourly time, uh, four hour and hourly time frame prior resistance quite strong has to break and close higher than 9.932 <clears throat> but remember that 935 or thereabouts we've still got resistance so got a lot of work to do a lot of momentum a lot of conviction to take US dollar higher than that otherwise what we're seeing is just a, a fake breakout uh, faking a lot of people into the trades and then we could see further uh, downside movement this needs to close above 0.932 and then ideally about 0.935 to com show overall trend is now looking bullish the longer it goes sideways the longer or the more conviction is that we could see a change in price sentiment remember that okay <coughs> I remember we've been trading at a long negative trend for a long period of time this is just just <coughs> excuse me this is just um, recently but overall on a daily weekly we've come down from some very very uh some very high points to this place where we're at the moment now at an all-time low so it's got to do a lot of conviction to be closing or trading higher than 935 which is ideally where we want to be uh, trading okay so it closes above that level there then we'll run into 93 uh, there's another possible little pause here just above the 938 mark if I just zoom out you can see that that's the prior resistance make it the 940 mark there's um, another resistance level which will bring it into the 200 period moving average time frame so it needs to do a lot of work you can see as we speak now if I look at a smaller time frames the CTC has been all systems go if you had woken up early this morning and looking for a potential trade you would have obviously looked for the first thing you want to do <coughs> is five o'clock is look for your prior high at this time frame and there you have it at 9275 would have been the prior high 200 period moving average is a resistance level so it needs to break both the 200 period moving average as well as a 9275 mark because you can see we've had pre prior support and resistance at this level and then all your smaller time frames would also be showing the same so what do we have here going into the this morning's European session open well we have one we have our blue and our candles all all blue so we're just looking for a break what's another thing you're looking at the swings are still higher come from a low point high so we know the market maintenance going to that side and sure enough we had a break higher your entry level would be in on a possibly on a five minute chart if I'm not mistaken there again if I move it back <coughs> you can see that was a high at 975 so a break above 975 would have been a good indication for the upside movement you can see that even though we're going sideways, momentum is still to the upside. Very important to understand that. Okay, we want to trade market direction. It's trading well above all, well, it's trading above all the moving averages on this time frame. So all we need is a confirmation break above 9275. Nine, to give us that, bang. Higher. That would have come on a 15. You would have gotten less, but you would have potentially gotten the high of that candle. Looked at 
at potential uh, targets. In this case, there's one here, small pause at 9295, but ultimately way up here at 9325 prior, and you would have been able to hit those targets quite comfortably and make at least 20 pips from that. So anybody who traded this morning and was able to see that squeeze breakout, well done, guys. CTC really, really helped you. Uh, what we're doing is consolidating now. It needs to break. Hopefully, you're taking your 20 pips, but now we need another break above the, the high that it just reached and offer us to see further confirmation. So, until such time, this is going to be remain bullish. We need to definitely close higher than the prior high at at least 9.330. Or we could see price reverting back down to the downside. That's it for the US dollar Swiss franc. I'll be back next with the US dollar Japanese yen. Okay, US dollar Japanese yen in front of me. Just looking at the daily time frame. Just see what's happening. Uh, you'll notice that we've been, this pair has been pulling some, the swings have been higher on this. US dollar has been gaining a bit of strength against US dollar in as many months. Even though we are still in a negative pattern, you can see CTC is pretty much red overall. The trend is very much red. And the US dollar has been trading at an all time low against the Japanese yen. And you can see we've been squeezed now. And then we've had a bounce. We had a prior bounce, prior bounce, and prior bounce around this area here. So, doing exactly what it's said on the tin support needed to break lower than that to close. So, for the downside movement, didn't hesitation, and we had a, an up movement on Friday. On this trading range, very strange. We had the euro and sterling move bullishly, which meant that the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen would obviously lose ground, and sure enough, it did. But then close uh, during the course of the European, uh, the US session, it pretty much clawed it all back again. So what we have is these two indecision candles now. We have a, spin, uh, a shooting star and a hammer. <coughs> all around moving averages. And this morning what's happened is we've seen uh, the Asian market and the European session open. Literally trading the entire range of yesterday, cancelling it now. So it's cancelled that. But to cancel that really out and out, we need to obviously close higher than this candle here. The one we saw on Thursday. So a uh, high of 82.51, close higher than that would obviously take us above all the moving averages and then it would just be a pullback and continuation in this little consolidation here. Otherwise trading below all the moving averages just showing us that there's still negative sentiment in it and we could see the moving average reattempt, uh, sorry, the trend line reattempted soon. Okay, so if it trades lower than this close going into the US session then we should be looking for further shorting opportunities because we are still on a negative trend. However, on an intermediate uh, time frame, if it's trading above 82.50 going into the uh, into the US session, we would have been trading above all this indecision here, and we should see higher highs going into this afternoon, GMT. Okay, that's pretty much how I read it. Um, looking at our intermediate charts, a lot of indecision. You can see that the CTC has definitely showed that up. Um, consolidation of note. You can see a definite resistance level as price has been moving to the downside in this consolidation pattern. And we want to see a break above that. It's done exactly that. It's broken above the first point. Now we need to see it trading above the previous swing. In this case 82.40 and then we could definitely see further upside movements between 82.40 and the next one over here at 82.47 and a bit, there's hesitation. So very, very ne <coughs> not a consolidation here. And uh, we want to see the price trading at least above all that if we're going to see some further upside movement. Okay, so you can see price on hourly chart, for example, is now testing a prior resistance level here, just below the 82.37.38 mark need to close higher than that then we'll definitely get a nice swing you can see now by this actually consolidating overnight we now have a swing but it's resistance is playing with CTC is in our favor close higher than this candle here above 82.40 would definitely see us um, get a confirmation buy signal you can see the swings are still higher than the prior one so we know market sentiment is up for this pair okay see how I'm putting this all together overall major trend up intermediate up Got to close 82.40. CTC is in our favor. 50 minute will also be in our favor. 5 minute will also be in our favor. And then we should be looking at for at least a trade up to here at 82.75 or higher.
Anyway, hey guys, that's it for today on, on the four majors. Um, not much news out today. Bits some pieces here and there, but just double check to see if there's anything relevant that could put a foot in the works. Uh, keep your trading simple. Take your pips when they present themselves. I know one of our students yesterday didn't take his his money to the table when there was an opportunity to, and I think he took a little less than he he sh he, he should have gained. So when the twenty pips present themselves, bank it. Either pull your stop straight up to to capitalize on that, or just get your put a, to a trigger level and get and, and take it when they come. And if market sentiment is still moving in your favor and the momentum is quite strong, then just get back into it and look for potential targets and stop loss management. Hey guys, that's it for today. Enjoy your trading and trade streaming.